Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today's project is one that I think should be a lot of fun. I'm adding a winch to my tractor. Something I've been wanting to do for a while, but wasn't sure how to do it. The main thing I've seen on YouTube is skidding winches, which are, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars. Mostly what I see is in the three to five thousand range, honestly. And people use them, you know, to draw logs up. And that's one use I have, but another obvious use is if the tractor gets stuck or if my truck gets stuck. So finally what I settled on is mounting a winch onto a plate that slides into a receiver. That way I have options. So I'm going to mount it on the tractor today. But if next month I want it on the truck, I just move it over. Or if I want to set up a mount on the trailer, the dump trailer, the equipment trailer, whatever it is, I've got that option. So I've got a stack of boxes up on the porch that I need to open up, start getting all this set up and getting all the accessories hooked up. Then we'll do a first test use. Then hopefully this fall I can do a lot bigger test on the capacity and how much this will help me as far as getting logs to my firewood area, and those sorts of things. All right, so I've got a total of five boxes here that will make up everything I need. Some of it is what you need and some of it's optional kind of accessories. But I mainly think unboxing videos are kind of a waste of time, so I'm gonna skip the unboxing. Go ahead and read the basic information off of the winch though. Now I actually got a bigger winch than I probably needed for this application, but I wanna be able to use this on my new trailers as a car hauler if necessary, or a lot of different potential applications. So I got a little bit bigger unit. This is Warren brand, which they're one of kind of the premier brands on winches. I got the steel rope as opposed to the synthetic. I don't have an opinion on which is better. Kind of torn on that. They call this a standard duty winch even though it's 8,000 pounds. It says IP68 waterproof ceiling. It has a wired and a wireless remote. Most of the rest of this stuff just kind of seems like fluff. That's the main bit of information the model number 103250. All this again will be in the description of the video. Then here's the actual winch. Oh my gosh, that's a heavy sucker. I guess that's convenient since I'm mounting it on a weight bracket and I wish my weight bracket weighed more. So anytime I have this on there, that'll help with my, my weight issue. All right, so I kind of did these steps backward because I bolted the winch onto this plate first and you can't do it that way because once the winch is bolted on here, you can't get your negative power cord on. Okay, so earlier in the day, I got called off of this project, but I'm back at it now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this put together in the shop. Putting the actual bracket together is really quick and easy, just a handful of bolts. After that, you would hook up your negative cable to the winch and then you're ready to mount the winch into the bracket. I think rather than setting this in here, I'm gonna flip the winch over and put the bracket on top of it so that I can see the bolts as I'm running them in. I just found something else out the hard way. You want all of the bolt heads to be facing the middle and the threads and the nuts facing towards the outside of this bracket because the head is lower profile than the part that sticks out the back and that gives you more room inside there so you're not scuffing up the winch. Let's see if that works a little better with those bolt heads facing in. Then we have these four bolts that hold the winch onto the bracket. All right. 
right, so this is ready to set into a receiver, any type of receiver, and connect it to power and should be good to go. All right, so here is what I got for the wiring. Obviously your standard wiring isn't gonna reach the battery on the front of the tractor. So this is from High Country Suspension Systems is the brand on it. And it is a disconnect setup. So these ends right here will connect to your winch And then these longer ends here will run up to the battery. And if this is something you're going to leave on the tractor, you can hook these to the battery, route them however you want, then have your disconnect back by your three-point. And then when you put the winch on, you just plug it in. Definitely the easiest way to go about it. All right, so I'm just going to pull these battery post terminals off and then put these ring connectors on the positive and negative terminals take the negative off first then take the positive off hook the positive back up put the negative back on so I've got that hooked up I have not yet decided what my permanent setup for this wiring is gonna be so for now I'm gonna put this cable when I'm not using it into the battery compartment just wrap it up and when I want to use it, I'll run it to the back and plug that in. I don't know if I'll leave it that way or if I'll actually route it back there and keep it back there. Okay, so here we have our power from the battery. Here we have our quick connect for that. Those just plug in. Now the only thing that needs to happen for this to power up is to connect these red and black to each other. One problem out of everything I got for this, I'll go ahead and disconnect these before I accidentally touch them to each other. One problem I have is I didn't get anything to connect the power cables off of the winch to this quick connect. I was going to look for some bolts, but actually the smart thing to do might be to connect this quick connect direct on here. This other cable is just going to make it more of a mess. So that's really what I need to do. And that's going to require, I think, that's going to require me to take this winch loose out of the housing to get to that bolt. So if you do it like me, don't put the factory cable on. When you start, start off by putting your quick connect onto the winch. So to change out the black cable, all I had to do was pull that nut off. To get to the red one, you got to take this top plastic housing loose so that you can access it. It's like a four millimeter socket, or it's like a four millimeter hex key. I don't have regular hex keys, so I have to use this little insert with a wrench because there's very little clearance. If you're wondering why I got a winch this big, got two answers for that. Number one, it's just versatility because I never know what I might put this winch on in the future whether that's a bigger tractor or my truck or a car hauler or any other number of things the second reason is I didn't actually pay any cash for this oh I should think of it as spending money but I got this with my American Express rewards points hopefully three times the charm on mounting this winch All right, moment of truth here. We are connected. We are engaged. We'll go free spool and engage it again. 
And I just need to plug in the controller. We'll try it with a cord first. All right, plug the controller in on both ends. Then we have a mode setting. Okay, so it wasn't working for a second. Let me turn this key off. For a second I was thinking, well, maybe you have to turn the key on, but that doesn't make any sense because I went straight to the battery. But there's a another ground wire here, a little skinny ground wire that needs connected to a body ground. All right, so I'm just gonna mount this other ground wire to the bracket. And we are in business. Now we're on. Let's disengage this, spool it out and hook onto something, hypothetically. Engage. Not too shabby. So I'll be right back and we'll actually hook onto something and pull. I also picked up a cable dampener and some log tongs, but I'll show those when we're actually out here moving logs and stuff like that. But for today, I was really happy to get it set up. Oh, one more thing, I'm gonna run safety chains from the heavy hitch receiver down to the drawbar. But overall, I'm pretty happy just to have it up and working. I think this is gonna be really handy. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Just a minute, I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.